right, there we go. The fan just turned off. That's the first time this year I have heard my heater kick on and I do have a propane heater in here and uh, it does come in handy. I think today's high outside. I think we maybe got up to 30. It would have been a little warmer, but the sun never came out like the forecast said. I was really looking forward to today because I thought oh, it's the new year and the sun is actually going to be out here in Ohio, <gasps> but it wasn't. So we did other things and that's okay because everything in here is tucked in nice and um, doing just fine like they should be this time of year. Today, I want to answer a question someone submitted to an email to me, and feel free, you can email me anytime. I love answering questions, especially about the dome and the gardening we do here in um, Northwest Ohio. Email anytime, I love it. I'll try to get with you uh, as quick as I can, but most often you're gonna find your answer in one of my vlogs. So the question was from a another person who lives in Ohio. Thanks for emailing me. And their question was about the dome and the light this time of year. Wondering if putting together something like this is actually worth it because of the light this time of year. There's a lot behind that question uh, because a lot has to do with how I grow and the materials and products that are used in this 20 foot geodesic biob dome. This is not a purchase kit. I will be honest, I have never actually seen a purchase kit in person. There is another dome much larger than mine that's in Ohio in a neighboring community. And I've only seen it in the summertime because it's kind of like a community kind of garden. I don't think they're even open or allow people in this time of year. And judging by what I saw, I don't think they really use it in the winter time, except maybe just to keep their koi fish because they got a huge koi fish. It's like a 57 foot dome. It's pretty cool, um, but I don't know enough about it to go into detail about it only from what I saw when I, I was in it in the summertime. So that dome actually uses the um, polycarbonate covering, which are like sheets and they're not, they're flexible, but they're not as flexible as what we have on our dome here. Um, the inside here, what you see is actually a, just a house plastic used during the winter time. It's a heavy house pl plastic. Um, our goal is eventually we hope to rebuild this structure and um, this time around do a few different things to the structure itself. So you'll wanna watch for that because actually I'm gonna be documenting that whole process when we finally get around to doing it because my husband's an engineer and he's very picky about everything. So it's gonna be perfect and it might take a little longer but the thing will be standing through anything which the domes already do. I, I love this shape and what we've got to put it together. Um, you, the covering, let me get back on, gear, on topic here. The covering on the outside of the dome is actually a solar wrap. And you, you've seen it in some of my videos, it kind of looks like a bubble wrap type material. I love it. It's, um, I can share with you, in fact, all the stats on the solar wrap I have on my website. If you put that in the search bar, you'll find my information about that. And I know there were a couple of greenhouse uh, companies for like the big, big greenhouses, but they also sell to home gardeners like myself. And you can buy sheets of this, but you want to keep in mind with the solar wrap, once you cut it to make these shapes that are in the dome, you've basically destroyed your uh, guarantee on it, your warranty on it. I think it's got like a seven year, maybe even 15 year. I've had it here, uh, well, it's my eighth winter now, or starting in our eighth year, and I love it. It looks the same as it did when we put it up. In my opinion, it's just, I love this stuff. And something with the uh, plastic material used, the R factor and all that, that, that's coming through the UV, it pulls in all the light that is possibly capable of being pulled in. It really does. I can see it in the plants. I can see it in how they're responding and they're happy in here. And I can see it, you know, visually and 
um, you know, on my videos, even I can see like this direction in the south. It's more, you know, more sun's going to come in this way, even though the sun's not even out right now. The plants are getting the maximum amount. Now, I do know with other plastic coverings or coverings like the polycarbonate, to my understanding, um, and from actually being in other greenhouses like that, you don't get as much light through it um, like this covering. Um, it just, I don't know. It Well, and it also ages different too. That's going to have a lot to do with the uh, light that's let in because like I said, this is eight years old, roughly. Uh, and actually the piece that I got was used. So it might be even be a little older than that. Um, it's still letting the light through and I don't see any uh, film built up or discoloration where it's not gonna let the light in. I would actually have more light in here if I didn't have the extra sheet of plastic on the inside, which like I said, is just a real basic thick, uh, like the plastic you can find at your hardware store right now or in the fall that you would put on older windows to help You know lock in the cold air from coming in and that's basically what I use it for I do realize it is affecting my bloom quality and the, the light coming in to some degree But it also saves me a little bit more on heating and helping keep the heat in here Especially when the heater comes on too, which isn't that often it really doesn't cost that much to heat the space in fact, I was looking over paperwork and even um, going over the math with price changes from 2009, 2010, when I grew primarily, well, I grew year round in the winter time, including in my 10 by 12 greenhouse, which is a uh, double wall. The R factor is not as good as what I've gotten here, just a little off. Um, but it costs roughly the same amount to heat that little space compared to all I have in here and how much more fun I have in here. I mean, gosh, I could come in here and do exercise routine. <laughs> I could throw a sleeping bag down and take a nap in here if I wanted to. I'm just too busy having fun tinkering with all my plants and that. Speaking of which, I've got a box right over there. I think you can see it. I scored, I ran into the grocery store to grab some uh, bread and of course I go right past the garden center or the flowers just to look. I was going to get cut flowers and then I saw, oh, what the heck? And they're marked down and I'm going to show them to you in a minute here. So anyhow, I know I kind of rambled a little bit about the covering on this and if a dome like this is worth it to me, mine is worth it to me because I'm getting and I know I'm getting the maximum amount of light in here um, with the product that I'm using. Um, oh, that was it too. The polycarbonate, you actually, after a few years, and I know this because I do have a piece of that in my old greenhouse, and what starts happening about the fifth year is it starts uh, degrading a bit. And you can see it, it actually gets foggy. And I'm assuming that might be happening on any kit that you might get, so you would have to replace that. But so far, in fact, this uh, wrap that I'm using on our dome, or that's on my dome, we plan on when we rebuild this, we have the lumber and everything to redo it. Um, I'm hoping to reuse this, the wrapping, the outside, the solar wrap, and there's no reason as of now I could see where you wouldn't be able to use it because it's, it's awesome, it's holding together great. and. I am not a paid sponsor, unfortunately. I wish I was <laughs> because uh, I love it. I'd love to sell it to you if I could, but I probably am selling it to you and making no money off of it, but that's okay. Uh, if you get as much enjoyment as I do, just pop me a comment. If you end up buying it and you love it, that will be my payment. That makes me happy to hear that I was able to help you get as much joy as I'm having. And that agave plant back there, standing right here, I now understand why he does so well. <laughs> He's getting the nice sunshine during the winter time, even though it is completely cloudy outside. So I know I rambled a little bit and went on and on a bit, um, but that is my thoughts on the dome and the light this time of year. It is January 2nd, extremely cloudy, and yet there's a lot of light in here. Oh, and the other thing is it's almost sunset. We It's about um, 4.30 when I'm... Um, videoing this and um the sun will be it'll be darker in about 45 30 minutes so i'm actually in the darkest point of the day 
of early, early or late afternoon, early evening. And uh, so that's something to keep in mind too. So that's awesome. And uh, it's just awesome. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. So thanks so much for sending me that question. I will be answering them to the best that I can. And uh, you can check out my website if you want more information about the solar wrap and other things pertaining to the dome. And also I hope to have on there, I hope to publish a manual soon, uh, just featuring more details of everything that goes on in here. But you can find a lot of that on my website as well at brenhaas.com. Just click on over there. And uh, also you can email me anytime, like I said, and I'll try to get back with you as quickly as possible. And it will probably be a answer in a vlog or vlog like this. So there you have it. All right, well, thanks for connecting with me and I'll see you next time.